Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, I got the solution to the number one problem every single traveler has, and that is speaking the language. What if I told you that you can now speak Spanish to the locals and have them respond to you in English? That's right. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you this really cool new product that uh, I was introduced to. It's called uh, the Time Kettle WT2 Edge Translator Earbuds. And uh, long story short, all you got to do is plug them in your ear, set it on your phone, and before you know it, you're listening to whatever it is they're telling you in your native language. So if you want to know more about how these awesome little earbuds work, how this you know, new piece of technology is going to change your life. It's going to be a game changer. That's going to, again, be a, allow you to now all of a sudden really be able to immerse yourself even deeper within the culture. Well, and stay tuned to find out more about these, uh, you know, translator earbuds by Time Kettle that I think you guys are going to thoroughly enjoy. And I think it's going to be a total game changer for all of you guys out there um, that are thinking about coming to Mexico or whatever country you're moving to. So again, to find out more, just stay tuned and I'm gonna show you exactly how these things work and how you can get your own before you come out here on your next trip. All right guys, so uh, I'm gonna show you exactly how these earbuds work. I am here uh, with my beautiful wife and uh, my dog and uh, we're gonna pretend uh, you know that we are on a date and uh, I'm gonna show you ex you know there's a perfect example as to how you might want to use these things so the first thing you do is uh, you basically open up the package take them or you know first of all you charge the earbuds but anyways you take them out you give one to your partner give one to yourself we simply just go into symbol mode as you guys can see there so this comes with an application it's all integrated so that way you know makes it a lot easier for you to communicate with uh, your partner or whoever it is you're trying to communicate with so let's just give it a whirl. Let's see how this works, okay? So um, I'm gonna go on ahead and speak in English and uh, she's gonna start listening in her earbud in Spanish. All right, so now I'm gonna say something and she's gonna repeat something back to me. All right, so hey, um, tell me a little bit about uh, these paintings. Ahora yo estoy empezando a escuchar en, eh, en español lo que él está diciendo. Bueno, estas pinturas las elaboré con un stencil y me inspiré en algunas de las flores locales que, que hay aquí en Yucatán. Entonces decidí hacerlo como decoración para mi casa. Y ya, o sea, experimentando un poco con la pintura en aerosol. <laughs> yeah, sorry, we had a little uh, break there because, you know, Gizmo was uh, barking at uh, some people walking by. Um, but uh, yeah, it seems to be translating everything correctly, right? So there's going to be a delay, a natural delay. So tell me, who is this guy? Ah, este es Gizmo, nuestro hijo. Pero sí, o sea, eh, está bien. Yo creo que el, el tiempo en el que se hace la traducción es bastante fluido. Lo único es que tienes que esperar a que la otra persona termine y no interrumpirla para que pueda concentrarse en escuchar la traducción. Entonces debe ser una conversación pausada y clara y con buena articulación en la boca y en las palabras para poder entender. Creo que incluso es mejor eh, que escribir en el traductor de Google. Creo que, creo que es bastante útil. Sí, creo que es bastante útil porque te permite una conversación más fluida 
Incluso puedes mirar a la persona mientras estás hablando con ella, cosa que cuando estás escribiendo en el traductor no sucede, porque tienes que atender directamente al teléfono en vez de conectar con esa persona. Y también creo que tiene un amplio vocabulario, o sea, utiliza palabras que, que puedes entender, no es como un inglés o un español con el que no entiendes. Entonces creo que sí es un buen producto. Lo que sí, tienes que hablar con una persona a la vez. Wow, I, I was amazed by the translation I just received there. I mean, I've been amazed pretty much by this product the whole time, but especially now, it does take a little getting used to, and it does take a little bit of, uh, you know, you gotta get your feet wet, but it doesn't take that long. It only took basically a, a 10, 15 minutes for us to, you know, use this. And, you know, we're, we're not really using this aspect too much, but it's good to have that, you know, in case there is a little bit of a misunderstanding, you know, you can just look there and, you know, each person is getting a, uh, you know, perfect description of what each other person is saying in English or Spanish or whatever other language. And I might add, you know, on top of all that, even if there is a very long-winded person like me that speaks a lot, this is able to translate the whole thing. And I want to add, on top of all that, it also allows for me to just have a pause and then she's listening to me, you know, while I continue talking and the whole thing is translating. She's listening to something right now, you see? So... Another cool aspect of this as well is that, for example, not only does it have Spanish, but it also has, you know, the fact that it has multiple dialects within the Spanish. So it has Mexican, Cuban, Spanish, you know, Latin, Spanish, you know, many versions of Spanish. And uh, the same thing goes with many languages. And, uh, and I think they, they keep, you know, upgrading it, you know, um, as time goes on. This is not the only product that this company has, but it's a pretty awesome company. Yeah, sorry, I just paused there because I wanted to see if it was going to pick all that up, and um, I think it did. It's pretty awesome. I'm very thoroughly impressed, and I think you're also very impressed that it's, uh, you know, being able to, you know, capture everything I'm saying in English and in Spanish. So even though she's still listening to whatever it is that, uh, you know, I was saying earlier, um, as she said that in Spanish, I also, you know, was able to, so she's able to respond in real time and I'm also able to, you know, listen. How about this? Don't even worry about listening to everything. So say a few things in Spanish. Dime algo con una cosa en español. Okay. Me asombra también que la traducción puede ser un párrafo muy largo. O sea, no solo es como una frase o una oración, sino puede, eh, digamos, tiene sentido todo lo que estás diciendo y el contexto de la conversación. Sí, que no, puede, es, no es una traducción literal, sino que es la conversación en general. Yeah, so what she's basically saying is the fact that she's very surprised and so am I, that it can really maintain a real and full conversation. Sí, y, o sea, me imagino esto, por ejemplo, para una reunión de negocios, por ejemplo, si hay muchas personas de diferentes países, creo que esto también podría funcionar muy bien. Porque es una reunión, pues es una reunión seria, es una reunión donde todos eh, pueden hablar pausadamente y escuchar, o sea, creo que no solo funciona para, para una cita, por interacción entre dos personas, sino creo que también puede funcionar para una reunión de negocios. 
Exactly. You know, she beat me to the punch, but long story short, as she was saying, where this thing, you know, can really be very helpful, you know, not just for a date, but even for things like business meetings and so much more. Again, let's just say that you right now you got to talk to, uh, you know, the construction uh, worker. You got to talk to your architect. And, uh, you know, even though you guys both might be able to communicate pretty good, um, maybe you, you know, might need something like this in order to really, really be able to understand each other. And so with all that being said, I think we're going to move on to show you, uh, you know, what else this thing can do. Another option that this thing has, you know, which is we're going to put this thing in um, listening mode. All right. And we're going to show you exactly how that works in the next scene. All right, guys. So now I'm going to show you how this would work in listening mode. So in listening mode, um, basically, you just put in the earbuds and um, you click on listening mode on the phone. And then basically you listen. So right now... Um, Christian, can you just tell me a little bit about the garden out there? So again, just pretend that you are, let's say you're in an Uber, and when you're in that Uber, the guy is just talking to you nonstop in Spanish, and you don't know what he's saying to you, and you want to know what he's saying, you just put these on, put it in Spanish, and then you just push this button, and uh, he, he's just pretend he's talking about his garden. Ay, mira qué bonito está nuestro jardín. Me gusta mucho, pero me da mucha tristeza que las hormigas se han estado comiendo las hojas. I totally agree. So again, in this mode, it's just listening mode. So this is a mode that you would probably use while you are watching a movie. Let's say that you're watching a YouTube video in another language. Um, you know, there's multiple reasons in, the, in which you might want to use this. Let's say again, you are, yeah, yeah, cheese man. So what is cheese man is just basically you want to overhear, you want to, you know, um, how say gossip. Cheese? Gossip. That's right. See, um, <laughs> you want to hear some gossip. So let's say that you are at a Mexican party and everybody's speaking Spanish. You obviously don't understand what they're saying. You can wear these and just put it on listen mode, and it's just gonna pick everything up, and you know you'll be able to use it. So I think this is like another great option, you know, for you to use, which is the listening option. And we're going to use it again. So I'm going to go on ahead and, uh, you know, um, have her say something. And, you know, hopefully um, this thing will pick it up and uh, we'll be able to uh, go on ahead and listen. All right. So let's try this listening mode again. Um, so another great. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> All right, so let's try the listening mode a little more. Um, so another, you know, great thing, you know, about the listening mode is that, for example, let's say you're traveling and you're at an airport, you're in a train station, you're at a bus station, and the announcements are in another language, and you have no idea, you know, what they're saying. So now all of a sudden you would be able to put these on, put in the language, and you would be able to understand exactly uh, what they're saying. All right, so let's try the listening mode uh, just one last time. I'm going to listen to Christian, you know, tell me a little bit more about uh, Gizmo, right? Is, or you want to talk about the garden. Or you know what? I'll just listen and see what she wants to tell me and see how well this picks it up. Ah, ok. Pues nada, me da mucho gusto que, oh. que esto funcione y que los demás puedan encontrar una alternativa eficiente para este problema de entre idiomas o de comunicación incluso, porque no solo se trata de hablar de una lengua diferente o un idioma diferente, sino de poder estar comunicados entre todos y que cada uno se sienta cómodo con su idioma también. And that others can find an efficient alternative for this problem of between languages or communication. Even because it is not only about speaking a different language or a different language, but about being able to communicate with each other and each one feeling comfortable with their language too. All right, hopefully you were able to pick that up. I was trying to put it by the microphone and uh, hopefully, you know, again, you were able to get that. But if not, it's totally fine because I'm going to show you another option that this thing has um, that allows you to listen to exactly, you know, what it's being said. Um, it's going to allow for an even better um, interactive 
um, situation. So again, let's just pretend that right now um, you are at the market or you are in a place, you know, where, you know, you don't want to let other people borrow your headphones, um, but you still want to be able to communicate with them. Well, guess what? We got speaker mode and we're going to be using that in a second. In fact, I'm going to bring my really good friend Barb and she's going to come out here and join us. And uh, you're going to see exactly how this works. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm here with my really good friend, Barb and David, and they're gonna help demonstrate how to use this in speaker mode, because let's just pretend that, you know, you're at a store, like uh, David's gonna pretend, you know, come here, you step into the scene, say hi to the folks, say hi, everybody. Um, Hello. And uh, so David's gonna pretend like he's gonna be buying something at a store, and uh, let's see if this whole thing works. So basically, how speaker mode works is that David is going to have this uh, the headphones in his ears and they're going to be translating in English and at the same time the application the phone is going to translate in Spanish so that the shopkeeper in this case you know a uh, Barb she's going to be able to uh, understand everything he has to say so without further ado you guys ready to do this absolutely all right so let's go uh, begin scene there you go okay hello I would like to purchase the chips and the wine, but I have a question for you. Do you have an iPhone charger? My cell phone's almost dead, and I need to charge my phone. Compra las fichas y por qué, pero tengo una pregunta para ti. ¿Tienes un cargador de iPhone? Mi teléfono celular está casi muerto y necesito cargarlo. Bueno, eh, sí, puedo comprar esto, pero no tengo cargador para celular de iPhone. Aquí no vendemos. Lo siento. Ok, can you tell me where I can find an iPhone charger since you don't have it here? Okay, thank you. So can I buy thank you, so can I buy these? Entonces puedo comprar. Entonces puedo comprarlos. Claro, ¿cómo va a pagar? ¿En efectivo o con tarjeta? Do you accept visa? ¿Aceptan visa? Sí, sí la aceptamos. Ok. Ok. <laughs> So how did it work? I mean, how did you guys think that this whole thing worked? Yeah, I, it, happy birthday just said. <laughs> now you get to turn, take it off yeah. real quick and just yeah, uh, give a quick little review. Yeah, since, uh, yeah. yeah it would absolutely, it would have been very helpful this week. <laughs> but yeah, it would work. Yeah. Because I have, what you're saying is my, my every day when I'm here in Mexico, I don't know shit. Bruh. I mean, when I'm by myself, I'm like, like a third or a second grader pointing at stuff and yeah. Okay, and you, Letty, how about you? How did you think it was uh, useful? You think somebody that doesn't speak the language, um, they'll be able to understand? So, alguien que a lo mejor no entienda bien, ¿tú crees que él pueda manejar bien o una persona puede usarlo bien? Yeah, I think it's helpful. I like it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. you would you guys recommend it? Would you, are you guys interested? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I would use it today I like if, it. Uh, if I could good. buy. How much is it? <laughs> All right, well, with that being said, I'm going to let you guys know exactly uh, where you can buy this and where you can purchase it and uh, how you can get your hands on one. And uh, and I'm going to tell David exactly how he can get his hands on one uh, in the next scene. All right, so, all right, I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, you know, a little acting Thanks. class. Yeah, right? I love yeah. it. Yeah. Thank you. Peace. <laughs> all right, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I really hope that you guys found this cool new gadget very useful and that you are going to use it on your next or your upcoming Mexican adventure. Like I was showing you guys earlier, this is a total game changer. It's gonna allow you to understand the language, really immerse yourself even deeper. You'll be able to do all kinds of things like 
you know, again, listen to news broadcasts, you know, speak to a date, um, you know, speak to family members, um, listen to your Uber driver. I could go on and on. I think the possibilities on this thing are endless and it's, like I said, a total game changer. And if you're interested in knowing how you can get your own pair of, uh, you know, Time Kettle earbuds, all you gotta do is simply click on the links down below and it's gonna take you straight to their website, stay straight to the Amazon site, and you'll be able to order your own and have them delivered straight to your home so you can have them ready for your next adventure. And you can start using them and start listening and practicing Spanish and understanding more about the language and getting ready to really immerse yourself on this new adventure you're about to embark on. So, with all that being said, if you really like this kind of content, you already know what to do. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon, but more importantly than anything else, please stay awesome. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. Oh,